everybody. This week I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the return to serve. How to make a more effective return and how to put pressure on that server. The first technique I'm going to mention right now is to start back a little bit from where you actually intend to make contact on that return. You'll see all the pros do this. What we're talking about is this. I'm going to start back a little bit from where I normally would make contact on that return to serve because I want to have my momentum moving forward. So as the server is going into their toss, I'm going to move forward just a little bit, do my split step, and now my body is moving into the court, into the shot, creating momentum, which is going to make my return more effective. All too often, what I see happen out here is players are returning the serve from the same area where they're starting, so now they're just using their arms to gain power on the return of serve. Again, it's all about momentum. We want to get our momentum moving into the court, into that return of serve, making the shot solid and putting pressure on the server. So again, we're going to start back just a little bit from where we normally would. As the server is going to toss, we're going to move forward and make that good effective return of serve. Now there's one more tip I'd like to throw out there for you. On the return of serve, since we're talking about momentum moving into the court, that's what's going to give you the power. It's not the big backswing. As a matter of fact, a big backswing on a return of serve is going to hurt you. You're going to not time the ball as well usually and not hit the return as effectively very simple. Say. So what we want to do is, again, we want to shorten the backswing a little bit, use our momentum, use the pace of the server, time the return well, and move into the court. So next time you're out there on the court, give that a shot. Let me know how it works. Hope you have a great day.